Hello students, let us learn today binomial quadratic third. So as the name suggests, binomials that means two terms and the third is involved in this one. So if there are two thirds given which has either addition or subtraction that is called as a binomial quadratic third. So let us have some examples root 5 plus root 3. As we can see in the first example, root 5 and root 3 these are the two thirds given which are added or we can say we can join by addition sign that's why root 5 plus root 3 is called as a binomial quadratic third or if we have another example 2 by 3 minus root 3 in this case only one third is there that is the second number root 3 is the only third here the first number is a rational number which is the 2 by 3 so in this case also if out of two terms only one third is there then also it is called as a binomial quadratic third that means for the second example the first number is not a third rather it is a rational number but the second term is a third that's why 2 by 3 minus root 3 is also a binomial quadratic third now let us have the next concept conjugate pairs of binomial thirds let's have a definition first if the product of two binomial thirds is a rational number then they are the conjugate pairs of each other and we have another property with it that each binomial third in the conjugate pair is the rationalizing root 5 factor plus of root the two. other so let us illustrate this by one example root 5 let's minus have root 2 binomial third so its conjugate pair is and by definition if the product of two binomial thirds is a rational number then they are conjugate pairs of each other so these two pairs that is root 5 plus root 2 and root 5 minus root 2 has to be conjugate pairs of binomial thirds product of these two must be a rational number so let us check it out let us have the product of these two it is root 5 plus root 2 that is the first binomial third if we multiply this by the second binomial third that is root 5 minus root 2 so as we can see this is the expansion of a square minus b square so instead of this one this is in the form a plus b into a minus b so instead of that we can write a square minus b square that is the first term square minus second term square so here the first term is root 5 so we can write it as root 5 square minus the second term is root 2 so its square should be there that is root 2 square so root 5 square is 5 minus root 2 square is 2 so 5 minus 2 that's 3 so 3 here is the rational number which we got by having the product of these two that is root 5 plus root 2 and root 5 minus root 2 so as the product of these two binomial thirds is a rational number that's why we can say that these two binomial thirds are conjugate pairs of each other now let us solve an example based on this one rationalize the denominator number is 1 divided by root 7 plus root 2 so as we have to rationalize the denominator denominator is root 7 plus root 2 to rationalize the denominator we have to multiply both the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator the denominator here is root 7 plus root 2 its conjugate is root 7 minus root 2 so we have to multiply both the numerator and denominator by root 7 minus root 2 so we'll take the first as it is 1 divided by root 7 plus root 2 into we have multiplied here the numerator and the denominator by root 7 minus root 2 so if we multiply the numerator we get 1 into root 7 minus root 2 that is root 7 minus root 2 divided by root 7 plus root 2 in the first bracket into root 7 minus root 2 into the second bracket so to the next step again we have the same numerator root 7 minus root 2 divided by again this is in the form a plus b into a minus b so we have the expansion formula and by which we can write it as first term square minus second term square the first term square that is root 7 square minus second term square that is root 2 square in the next step the numerator as it is root 7 minus root 2 divided by root 7 square is 7 minus root 2 square is 2 so we get root 7 minus root 2 divided by 7 minus 2 that's 5 so for this one we 
as you can see the denominator is 5 which is a rational number so here we have rationalized the denominator as instead of root 7 plus root 2 which is irrational number instead of that we have 5 which is a rational number that's why in this way we have rationalized the denominator and for this one we have used the concept of conjugate pair of binomial cells. I hope you understand this problem. Thanks for watching.